Major and the, uh, the media day, and you hear what all all they all those guys talked about their season, and that was a team that was focused on tonight and focused on doing what they need to do to widen the gap. And that doesn't mean that it's automatic for the next time, but it's a good step. And I, I tell you, when you're talking about uh, getting to the next step with this team and eliminating slop and stuff, that's the kind of stuff that happens. It's not in the practice room because we see what these guys can do in the practice room. We see it and we know what they're capable of, and then you go out and see it um, tonight. So uh, I attribute that to our guys getting ready. And I give our guys a lot of credit. It's lopsided. That's the way it needs to be. That's that's what that's what it's about. The one sticking point in my head is is raising. He's in on the leg. He's got to put the guy down. He, even if it, first of all, you got to get more opportunities. But when you get the opportunity, you got to put him down, especially late in the match. The clock's ticking. So you got to put the guy down. He was there on Sunday against the Brisky to put the guy down to end the match. So you got to get better there. And what's happening is the legs are going straight, his arms are going straight, and then the, the legs coming loose. And you got to squat down on it. And you got to move him one way and explode high. And a short guy like that will just come right off the mat. And you'll be laying there right in front of you. And just jump on him for a takedown. Uh, so we got to continue to get better there. And, I tell you, I single out a guy like Borschel. That guy was tough. The guy had tough hip, hips, a beats guy. And, uh, you know, he was on him for, from a temp's point of view, and that's what it's going to take, Jay Borschel. And, uh, you know, you talk to, talk to Gable, and, you know, when you talk to Gable about the formula for Jay Borschel, the formula for Jay Borschel is, is that he's got to be able to go out and get a takedown anytime he can. And that's what he did tonight. He worked hard to get takedowns, and then all of a sudden he started getting through the guy. And then next thing you know, he turns him over and pins him. Tom, does a performance like that, I mean, that, does that even, even impress you, or are you, are you still not impressed yet? No, I mean, i got to put my game face on here and get back to being sourpuss and, <laughs> and not smile so much. But I was talking to the radio up there, and Ironside, he was, I looked over him, he had a big grin on his face because I was grinning. And that, that, that makes the staff and the program feel good because, it, like I said, I mean, that's, that's what you preach, and that's what you see these guys talk about. And so you feel good that these guys maybe feel good. Except for, you know, a guy like Morningstar, I know he's, he's, he's working hard to get those scores, and it's tight on his feet, and then he cradles a guy, you know, and pins him when it's, what is it, 1-0 or whatever. You know, we got we to gotta do a better job there with takedowns, but um, for the most part, you know, these guys can feel good. But we, got, we, can't, we can't rest. We can't rest. We, we, we enjoy and, and continue to build. And you can build on this. I mean, it doesn't always have to be, um, you know, preaching that you got to do better, you got to do better. You can build on taking a deep breath, too, and maybe even more. Finally, you know, you can take a breath a little bit. we got a break, we end on a good note, et cetera. Well, you had two guys step in, Nate Moore at 133, Montel Marion at 141, and get pins. You know, what are your thoughts about their Two pins? good debuts, and um, after they were done, they went upstairs, and the uh, strength and conditioning coach strength, strengthened them and conditioned them. So... Uh, they had good wins. That's good build for the mind, and then they went up and built their mind and body some more. Uh, so good debuts for them. Uh, Montel Marion. Uh, it's important to get him to see one-hour weigh-ins, um, scratch weight, dual meat setting, just because he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it. Nate Moore's young. This is his first time out. Uh, it's important for him as well. Um, but uh, Marion to see him, and, and that, that's really Leclerc's spot because of because of how the season's progressed. But Montel uh, was reinstated, and uh, Montel um, won the wrestle off, and so we, we went with Montel, Leclerc, and Montel, Marion, and Joe Slayton will be in the Midlands together, and we're going to sort out a lot right there. So okay, are you happy with this performance? Bill Ketty, yes, he's a tough competitor, and there's some things we got to iron out there. He's getting dinged during the match, and they're, they're ongoing things. we got to get him ironed out from a health point of view. And I tell you what, that's a gutsy performance because he went. He kept going, and he kept going, you know, with, with uh, you know, with getting dinged up. So. Um, you know, there, there's a little bit of uh, talk about not having a letdown. Uh, with this team coming out off the Iowa State. Uh, I mean, do you feel that these guys were really focused on making sure there's no moral victory for I mean, you look at the score, I mean, you had four falls in a row, and then you had two falls in a row after the break. That's six falls. Uh, for sure, there's no letting down, and we, 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 we emphasized it. We emphasized it on the bus um, on the way home. We have not wrestled well uh, with you and I, and uh, even home two years ago. 
but you know, certainly up there, the first year when, when, when I came back in you know, 06, 07, that 06, December 06 dual meet was by the Harry of Chinny Chin Chin and West, or uh, West Hand. Uh, West Hand actually coached the guy, um, Matt Fields, gets a reversal and, and keeps the guy down to win that dual meet. So big, big, um, big improvement from quick turnaround and big dual meet on Sunday point of view.